Welcome to another edition of Spotted Tampa International. Ship Blue, how do you do? 592. Line it up and wait. Another just stunning morning here in Florida. Fall is in the air, just gorgeous. Right, right, check, there's a takeoff heading 010 to blue, 592. Oh, Foxy Mox is throwing us the photo bomb. Norfolk, O R F, Orf. That yeah, sounds like a seal. Orf, Orf. Perfect VA. Look at this gorgeous A220. Connecticut. Oh, 
I did it again. I heard another exec jet pull up to the right. <laughs> Screwed up the camera work. Steven, start paying attention. Look at this, they're pulling up. That's the bad, bad, bad part about this spot. This photobomb city. Continue. Man, it's rapid fire action here at TPA, the perfect airport. That was Southwest 146, by the way. I got to go and ask the American Department Looks like we got a, a Swift Air Charter over there. That's Signature Air. I'm going to guess. Is that a hockey team in town? Play our Tampa Bay Lightning? We are not doing that well so far this season. It's early. I believe the goalie is out, though. And the FedEx 692 departed two minutes before we got here. Bah humbug. Left early. Look at this, they're flying the A321. Their heavy artillery, their big boy Airbus to the Motor City. Detroit. And closer to November. We've got about 22.6 billion snowbirds holding tickets in their pockets. That'll be coming here in the next few weeks. Uh, Delta 1160, Delta number three, and they run next to land. land. Rumor is there'll be no, morning, no traffic on the streets in Canada shortly. They'll all be here in Florida. Boy, well, if you drive up 75 or 95, you'll see a parade of huge, beautiful motorhomes coming down, pulling a car. And then next spring, we'll see them all going the other way. Where do we want to go next? Hmm, this was fun. You can see that windsock moving north northeast at ten. Delightful breeze. Boy, the lack of humidity has really changed things lately. Yesterday afternoon it was like 36%. You know, we're used to 90. I feel so comfortable. Look at that breeze pushing them. Pushing that tail to our left. Oh, they're left. Well, I came down to my other spot on one right, and we've got two jets not only blocking the way, but they're running. So we're going to move someplace else to keep things interesting. Silver Air 
boys. This is flight 59 to Fort Lauderdale. Hey, you're going the wrong way. You're going north. You got to go south and east. Less than 200 miles as a crow flies for 59. It looks like a little cirrus I see down there. They're working on some aircraft over there at Signature Air. I went on over to the uh, other corner. And it was really loud and I thought I'm not going to do that to you. Plus the view was partially obstructed. Oh, we're going to try to head back over towards Sarasota after we get off the bridge and we'll head back north. Okay, uh, so do you need to talk to St. Pete or Wooded or? I'll just come down to Wooded and we're Okay, very good. You can, uh, like to just pass south of the airport and again try this group. Alright, we'll be south of the airport and get it. Make a left. Three one zero over to departure. Ah, 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 do I know it or do I know it? I wish they all made a uh, turnout like that. That would be cool. Stuff. I love it. <laughs> That's a United taxi at about uh, three knots, and look who's behind them. Southwest. If they had a horn, they'd be laying on it. Ah, ah, pull it over! What the hell's wrong with you? <laughs> Look at that. Can I get any closer.com? Oh my gosh. You know, Southwest comes down at 2530. And of course, uh, watch when we get down here. What do you bet? The United's not ready. <laughs> the pilot the Southwest crew is like, what the hell? Could you go any slower? And three, three, five, two, kilo, pop, tap, tower, runway one right, cleared for takeoff. <laughs> Could it get one any right, closer? Right. Look at this. United's headed to Denver. Southwest is headed to ISP. Never to be confused with ESP. I slip Long Island. It's still going. I think they're even going slower now. I think the captain on the uh, Southwest opened uh, opened his window and threw a shoe at him. Oh, look at that! They're not ready. Uh, see, they were going to back taxi. Look at, look, 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 they're already going past. Sorry, not a one eighty. We're going to need another ten. Ah! 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 You can't make this stuff up, ladies and gentlemen. Oh. And this is not edited after the fact. This is edited as you see it. <laughs> you know, it's not ready. 1552 to BDL. Snuck on to one right from Charlie 2. We're going to back taxi, swing a 180. And they'll be ready to go. Zero one zero, runway one right, clear to go. Zero one zero, clear to take off one right. Stop, but the Night eleven eighty, temp tire, <laughs> runway one right, line up wait. Line up wait, one right, night eleven eighty. Well, the United Denver flight is now ready after all that.
Airbus, I love that. Airbus just looked like a bird of, bird of prey with that tall stance like a 757. That yeah, wasn't too bad. Maybe five minutes. miles three plus hours 737 fun to the mile high city ultra low performance takeoff settings look how much of the runway they use and yeah, one bounce off of Hillsborough Avenue don't worry blue Vinny van they can take that depth right out for you North, north, west of Tampa, southbound, there is 1,600 feet, runway one right, clear for takeoff. All right, clear for takeoff, stop the traffic for JetBlue 226. To JFK! 1,010 miles. That's fly three, there's traffic off your uh, 12 o'clock and uh, four miles. That look out, going to be circling west of Tampa there in the canyon. I'm sorry, there at 800 feet. There's going to be a Kinger going north-south, runs uh, west of Tampa at 1600 feet, BFR. Familiar, have a one there. ESP will keep an eye on the wall. Okay. I think the small aircraft and all the news helicopters are more work for the uh, controllers. Because they're always zigzagging all over the place than the uh, commercial jets. And they're on their way. Next stop, New York. New York. The city that never sleeps, which I still say is Las Vegas. Vivo, vivo, Las Vegas. Yeah. 1981 for New Orleans. Spirit in the sky. Yep, Norman Greenbaum. Captain Neo. Are you going to continue westbound from there? Takeoff. The Southwest behind is headed to STL. St. Louis. St. Louis. Oh, 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 I see a FedEx. There were two FedExes. I'm glad I waited a couple extra minutes here. one when I looked on flight radar. It didn't show up on the map. Aha, we're going to get a heavy jet. Good things coming to those who wait. Horn honks. Uh, 
Can you hear our 76 coming? Sorry, Southwest. I'm going to focus on 692 Heavy. That other one we just missed must have been 1401, the one that goes, I think, to Indianapolis. 3601, 1401, 1701. Hey, well, while we're watching this uh, beast line up, if you haven't done so already, hope you'll take a moment, smash that subscribe button, like, share, and hit the notification bell. Ding, ding, yep, uploads each and every day. If you'd like to support the channel, please check out the Super Thanks icon. Helps keeps us going here at Spotting. And on that note, let's go catch some departures on the west side. Well, better yet, let's go catch some arrivals on the west side. And here we go. Three, two, American. Top 40. It's 332. The cheesesteak special. Philadelphia, PA. One hour, 59 minutes. Cheese steak fun. Airbus A321 blast off machine. Airbus 959, temp tower runway one right, cleared for takeoff. Took tail one right, top left 959. to the north is always fun. 332, turn right at whiskey 4, whiskey 5, can't take ground point Downwind seven, leg, you go right north down along the bay. And, uh, ground point seven, American. On one side, the Gulf of Mexico on the other side. You turn uh, final. You got water on both sides of you again. Okay. Five, three, Roger, and no need to call turn, thanks you. And if you catch it at sunrise or sunset, it is flipping amazing. Double flipping. The engines on that Airbus look like pencil sharpeners. 
Eastern contact departure. Have a good day. Southwest 959, good day, sir. W700 variant of the 737. Back eight five, let me do a temp tower, hold short of runway one right. Uh, looks like they got another medevac three miles off. Roger, hold short of runway one right, medevac uh, eight five, let me do it. See how fast this grass grows here? Look how high that is. This place is manicured like a golf course, I kid you not. TPA, the perfect airport. Beautiful airport. Sound like the Chamber of Commerce. 412, 42 Mike, Temp Terrence, Friendway, one right, trust me in position. Sure. I moved to the left side, the west side, and now they're going to land over there. This is the Medevac, the Learjet 60. 30 minutes ago, departed FLL, Fort Lauderdale. I think this is home base here. Well, we just had a uh, medevac arrive in Fort Lauderdale. Here's another Lear medevac departing for Ocho Rios. And hi, howdy, howdy, howdy to the uh, folks over there at the medevac company. We haven't met any of the pilots, but we now know we have some of the uh, staff, the medical guys that keep, guys, gals, that keep, every, every, keep, keep everybody safe on their trip journey home. What an important job that is. Jeff Blues, 891, departed Boston Logan two hours and 36 minutes ago. Well, this has nothing to do with uh, aviation, but why is it when your back itches? It's always in a spot, or nine times out of ten, it's in a spot you can't reach. And what's worse is it's like, oh, you're only a half inch away from being able to reach it. But you can't quite reach it. Just ask it. B91, turn right at Whiskey 5, <laughs> contact ground point 7. Have a good day. This, <laughs> thing, <laughs> this thing has run through my mind. No, actually, I'm trying. I've got a spot on my back that itches right now, and I've been trying to reach it, and I can't. It's all right. I got the squeegee for the windows on the car. <laughs> I'll use that. <laughs> three, contact coach on Not the one, car, one the mobile command on it. Sorry. Excuse me. Try three affirmative, 99, see you later. Another one, nice Are you okay? <laughs> Excuse me. Everybody's safe. Hey, did you see that? <laughs> Just make a jet blow. I think it was JFK. They were uh, getting off the plane. And it tipped backwards onto the tail. <laughs> Nobody was hurt, that's why I'm laughing. They had to be scared when that Boston Logan flight was operated by this Embraer 190. 13 years old. Up and over. 
the Juliet Bridge. They park with United over at Airside A. AA from BNA. They fly to BNA? I didn't think so. Did I read that wrong? Anyhow, we got an AA on the downwind leg for one left. I have to double check. 175, departed Houston, 96 minutes ago. 3285, contact departure, have a good day. Southwest, 737, easy for me to say, max 8. Yeah, I missed with the opposite road. State, uh, proceed southbound on runway 1 right, then cross runway 2 east. What's short stubby and gets the job done? Yeah, get your mind on the toilet. It's the Airbus, the minibus. A319. These are workhorses. Giddy up. Here's our AA that we saw in the downwind leg, 3759. Departed one hour and 21 minutes ago from BNA, Nashville. It was Cadet de Mundo. Embraer, American Eagle, Envoy, all the above. So few flights. And I remember the boss and I flying to Hawaii with 18 people on board a 757. Service was excellent. <laughs> Actually, I shouldn't say that. Remember, you weren't getting much of anything back then. 3276. Two hours and 36 minutes from SJU San Juan, Puerto Rico. I believe this is another max. And I do believe, and I could be easily wrong, go figure, that Southwest, all our maxes are max eights. I don't think they have any nines. This is Abaco 
the Kirtland's Warbler livery. That's a big one. That's A321, Neo. That's being tugged over. Oh, there's a Kirtland's Warbler livery. And if you're a bird aficionado, I'm sure you know exactly what that is. Looks like a small pheasant. <laughs> it's not a branch. Both five zero three ten tower runway one right, clear for takeoff. Puffy little dude. One right, clear for takeoff, south this side. Wow, Abaco. I mean, his brand, sorry, brand, me. brand new. I mean, like this thing just came out of the factory. This month. Talk about new plane smell. This thing can't have but a couple cycles on it. Three, seven, four. Our minibus that we saw taxiing out of airside F. Now non-stop to Reagan National, DCA. Uh-oh. <laughs> Don't think you can't get a ticket at the airport. If you think you're late for your flight and you get caught speeding, you're really going to be late. Nine times out of ten, it's somebody who's stopped where they shouldn't stop or have no clue where they're going. And they just pull up and give a little bit of the horn, the siren, and they're moving again. Tampa's finest. Tampa Airport finest. Whisper jet. We just missed that vision jet. That's a cool looking bird. Sorry we're looking into the sun, but you always got to film a special delivery. than that. Gang, 
That's a wrap. That's going to conclude this edition of Spotting Tampa International. Hey, we certainly appreciate you being on board. If you're new to the channel or haven't done so yet, hopefully you'll take a moment, smash that subscribe button, like, share, and hit the notification bell. Yeah, ding, ding. That notification bell is real important as we upload each and every day. Yeah, you don't want to miss a single episode of this nonsense. This fun in the sun, this aviation action. And if you'd like to support the channel, which is really, truly helpful, please check out the super thanks. <laughs> super, 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 super thanks icon. And as I'm being arrested, that'd be a conclusion on this edition of Spotting Tampa International. And maybe a surprise airport near you.